We have a safety alert before you step into your yard this morning or go hiking on a trail. It is officially snake season here in the desert, and you might want to be extra careful with your steps. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang is live at North Mountain for us this morning. And Kimberly, you have some snakes there that people found in their homes. That's pretty scary, but there is some good news this morning, things you can do to prevent that from happening to you. Yeah, can you imagine running into one of these guys, Connie? Take a look closer. Look here. These two rattlesnakes are going to be released back into the North Mountain Preserve here. Our snake catchers with us, and we're going to talk to them in just a bit. But they were found in neighborhoods not too far away. This is really the time of year to see them, especially this particular time of day. Now, another rattlesnake was also found a couple of days ago. Take a look at this photograph here. A homeowner in North Phoenix found this full grown poisonous snake in his yard. Just slithering around. It looked like you know it was about three three and a half feet long, and it was uh, all stretched out, sunning itself, and it had the traditional diamondback markings. And this is Brian Hughes with Phoenix Rattlesnake Solutions. All right, you actually caught that snake that we just saw, and these two here. Uh, tell us what we can do around the home to really make our home less attractive to these guys. Well, you want to try to keep your yard clean. So places like around garbage cans or any debris piles they have, clean them up. Give them less places to hide. And call a good exterminator. Get rid of the rodents maybe you can. So that's food for them. So if you get rid of things that they, that they like, they'll stay away. It's typical for snake catchers to catch and then release them back into the desert. If we come across a rattlesnake, poisonous snake, uh, on a hike, what should we do to protect ourselves? If you do see anything venomous, just stay away from it. So they do have a warning. They, they rattle, and if you listen to them, then the, you'll be safe. Just walk away. Most people come up and try to get a closer picture or something. Just don't do it. Just go the other way. How far can they strike? Only about half their body length. So Half their body length. Yeah. All right. Brian, thank you for being here this morning. And, of course, you're going to release these guys far away from the trailhead, right? Yeah. No one will see them. All right. So, Connie, there's some good advice for us. Really keep the trash away. So if you keep the rodents away, then maybe we won't see any of these guys around the home because I'm going to leave you with one last look before I leave here. Yeah, I think there are 13 to 15 different kinds of rattlesnakes in Arizona. So you don't want any of those in your backyard, and uh, especially that little guy. Thanks, Kimberly. Appreciate it.